Well, we've got the old cracker box working again. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit odd because uh, on this one, basically the reeds are far too sensitive. So as you can see, I've got to lift them so I can make them less sensitive. Because what ends up happening then is you basically get shorts across the supply. Now, if I was using software, then the software itself could avoid that because it would then obviously switch the right things. But this is entirely electronic and electric, effectively. <coughs> it's electromechanical, effectively. We've just got diodes in there. That's the only electronic component, apart from power supplies. Um, yeah, but it's running. I mean, that's running on the lowest supply. And you can see it, it only just manages to turn. And then it's fine. And I'm, I'm on... So we've got 3 volts there. And I've got my resistor pair in there to try and drop the supply down. And it's running reasonably good. I mean, it's certainly solid. You know, I can bang it about now, and it's fine. So what we've got basically is we've got the uh, the reed relays are coming. Come here, you. The reed relays here. They've got like it looks like a little bit of a pavilion there, isn't it? It's just to stop them vibrating. But we've got the reed relays here, and those connections, the blue wires, go across to just simply into the. Uh, Breadboard, which then connect onto the input side of this diode matrix, and we've got the outputs, which I basically just took off the back of it, going through to the relay inputs, and then the relays then put the three phase out through to the motor. So that's the feedback loop sort of thing. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's all right. You know, it works, and uh, it's efficient enough if I stop it. I mean, it stops, so there's virtually no power at all. I mean, you talk about half a volt, maybe. But it gradually picks up speed, doesn't it? And then it's quite fast. Yeah. But we do have an issue with the thing shorting across the supply, which I had to go over with the meter to find out. I think, because one of these basically is shorted against an input to an output, which made it so that it just did funny things, like going backwards and stuff. So, uh, yeah, but it works. So we're back to how we were with the clapper box. So now we have to go down the solid state route, basically. Yeah.